Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at using the get width and get height functions. In the last video, we saw how we can use get width and get height to return the width and height of the canvas. We can then use these values to help find different locations on the canvas. For example, we can use the get width and get height to locate the four corners. Recall that the top left is our 0, 0 coordinate. The bottom right can be represented by get width, comma, get height. Similarly, we can locate the other two corners. We can also locate the center of our canvas by taking half of the width and half of the height. Notice here that center point is represented by get width divided by 2, comma, get height divided by 2. In addition to using get width and get height on our canvas, we can also use these commands on an object to get that object's width or height. For example, if we created a circle object, we can call the get width property, which will return the width of the circle. Now remember, the circle has a radius of 30, so the width and height will be 60. We can then use these properties to help position on our canvas. For example, if we wanted to center text on our screen, we can do this by getting the width and height of the text. And recall that the position of the text is the bottom left corner. So if we just set that corner to the center, it would look something like this. Notice that the Hello World starts at the center, but is not actually centered on our screen. So by shifting it half of the width and half of the height, we can center our text on the screen. So notice here we take our center x and we subtract from our width since we're moving left, and we take our center y and we add to that half our height since we're increasing our position in y. So let's take a look at an example where we're going to create an 8-ball um, and center it on our screen. First, we're going to create a circle with a radius of 100. To place it in the center, we can use the get width and get height properties to help us find the center of the canvas. Since the circle position is the position of the center, we can then update the ball position to the center x and center y positions. Next, we need to create the 8. If we just put the 8 in the center, then the bottom left corner would be centered, but not the number. To fix this, we need to subtract half the width of the number from the center and half the height. Remember, x values decrease as we move left and y values increase as we move down. So subtracting off half the width and adding half the height will move our number into position. So let's go check this out in the editor. All right, let's take a look at how we can create something a little bit more complicated. We're going to create a black eight ball. Um, so what we want to do to th start this is kind of find that center, and we're going to put both our circle and our letter at that center. So we're going to say center, um, center x, and that is going to be half of the width. So we want to use our get width command and divide it by 2. Just um, like that, we're going to say center y is equal to the get height command and divide that by 2. And notice these are functions that we're calling, so we use parentheses around them. All right, so now we want to create a circle centered at that. Um, and black is by default, and so we don't have to set the color. So we're going to say, we'll say ball equals circle. And we're going to create a circle with a radius of 100. And it's going to be blacked by default, but we want to put the center in, put it in the center. So we're going to say ball dot set position, and we're going to say center x and center y. Okay, so if we run this right now, we'll see that we just get that. Oh, we don't see anything, so we didn't add it. So we got to go add ball. Let's go ahead and run that again. Now we see our ball centered on our canvas. Our canvas actually goes down a little ways, which is why it doesn't necessarily look centered. Okay. Now we also want to add a white 8. So we're going to say, we'll call this number, and that is going to equal to um, a text with the number 8 inside of quotes. Um, we're going to set the font to be white. So we're going to say number.setColor to color.white. 
Okay, we want the font to be 50 point Arial, so we're going to say number dot set font, and that is going to be 50 point Arial. Okay, now the position of it is a little bit tricky because we want to put it in the center, but we have to kind of adjust for the size of the font. So if we just put this and just say number dot set position and go center x comma center y um, and then do our add so add number we're gonna see it's not gonna be quite centered yet so if we try that oh what do we have center spelled wrong so you see it's not centered because that bottom left corner is in our center so what we will need to do is adjust it over half of the width and down half of the height of that letter so we're going to use a command so we're going to say minus uh, number dot get width and that's going to get the width of that number and divide it by two and likewise we're going to do center y minus number dot get height and divide it by two. So basically taking half the height and going down and actually want to add that um, and half of the number and going left. And we do that and we see we get an eight ball with the number roughly centered there. And that's it.